Hello everybody, welcome back to Cure for the Common Game. Today, we got something a little different. We're going to do an unboxing, as it were. I was strolling through Target today, and I hardly ever go in there because it's all the way over on the other side of town, and looking for something I didn't find, but you kind of always glance at, at the magic stuff because we're magic players, you know. And I found this. Now, I'd heard of this and kind of seen it on the net, but never actually seen it. Um... It's the dual deck, Jace versus Braska. But f for frame of reference, that's my finger. And it says 120 cards, two tuck boxes, and instructions. So they had two, and I bought two. So I figured that we could, I, I would keep one sealed, obviously, and we're going to bust one. So let's, uh, let's see what's in here. And uh, I mean, we all know the card list because it, it's been years you know so but these are mighty small wow that's do I have something for frame of reference here that's a dice yeah so we're going to open up Jace first because, you know, that's how we roll. Just cut my fingernails. Oh, look, the individual decks are shrink-wrapped. That's what... Now, I don't know how, uh, how close that this can actually focus in on, but we're going to put this camera to the test. That's Jace, Architect of Thought. Now, this don't have the little, um, oh, the thing. So, we're going to have to very carefully try to, because, as I said, I cut my fingernails. And I don't know. I, I just thought this was neat. Uh this is quite possibly the world's smallest magic cards. <laughs> and I, why didn't they do any more? Did it just not sell or? All right. So we have got here. Let me try to reposition this to where. <laughs> this is just so small. There's a chronoton. Jason's phantasm. Bear ether filament. Crosstown Courier. Uh, I, I, I mean, these are just absolutely. Were there any more rares besides Jace in this deck? I don't know that I could shuffle these. Uh, it definitely does not feel like the Magic card stock. Um, uh, I mean, you can tell by the back, it's a little, a little darker than it probably should be. Uh, yeah, uh, it's not like we're worried about these being mistaken for counterfeits, right? Hey, there's a body double. And they, they're super slippery. So, Eon Cronkler. Well, that's a good one. The Cloud Skate, I, I, I like. Uh, Griptide. Remand. That's a nice remand. I had forgotten that they put Remand in there. It's been a long time since Jace versus uh, Tavraska. What, uh, I don't know. Well, this is probably not going to have the correct year. Uh, spell twine. And to be honest with you, I control Future Sight. Y'all know I love that card. A pair of Halimard. I mean, my, it looks like my fingers are so big because we're zoomed in. A pair of Halimar Depths. Dread Sanctuary. Or Statuary, rather. And then all of our islands. This is absolutely just neat. Uh, I mean, I I love the weird ancillary things, you know. Um, so we'll put Jace back in his deck box. I don't know that I can get sleeves that small. 
Although I, I don't have to worry probably about uh, playing them because they weren't actually in mint condition. I'm sure you saw that even straight out of the box. But uh, I don't know. This would be a cool thing. That is the Magic logo right there. So, uh, Wizards of the Coast, Magic Gathering. Yeah, yeah. I mean, 2019. So, uh, I mean, this was last year. Um, so, when they did this. So, maybe maybe they will do more. Oh, dear Lord, please don't do Commander decks. Can you imagine? Just because this is a... a, a a 60 card deck and it's you know that thick as opposed to the height and the width it's just a little off you know uh, the the normal dimensions that we're used to I'm trying hard not to damage the cards I don't know that they have any kind of value but at the end of the day I'm a magic player and There we go. Now we got it. Mental note, world smallest. Mm, next time, put the, the cellophane thing on there. So we got a Vraska, the Unseen. Pulse Tracker. We're going to have to go through this pretty quick because, let's face it, this dual deck came out a gajillion years ago, so we all know. It's a Vine Lasher Kudzu, Putrid Leech. Um... It's an Orin Viper. Man, what a card. So, so since I have an Orin Viper, quote unquote real Orin Viper, can I proxy it and just use this as my... I may actually use these as tokens. Uh, you know, just upside down tokens like that. Yeah. Magic back tokens. Necrotal. Oh! Acidic slime. Oh, and they're falling. Night's Whisper. Y'all know I use that one a lot. Is that a pair of tragic slips? It sure enough is. And then we've got Last Kiss. Uh, some. Let's look at what I dropped back here. all kind of mixed up swamps Ooh, tainted wood tainted woods are pretty good consume strength grizzly spectacle stab wound underworld connections hey look at that rogues passage right there yeah and everybody loves a river boa but that's that's really all, all i got uh, uh these are kind of very very hard to find uh i wasn't honestly i wasn't looking for it so it it just kind of happened um and i thought you know what y'all might get a kick out of this some folks may not even know it exists so um i have got a jason Vraska dual deck that will fit in your pocket <laughs> well i mean i guess technically a, a, a normal dual deck would depending on the uh, on the pocket size. But thought I'd get a kick out of it. Uh, kind of a short video because, I mean, it's technically old news to what's inside of Jace versus Vraska. But anyway, maybe we'll get more, maybe not. Um, I think I paid like $6. Uh, so, and, and that's, you know, Target retail, so. Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, that's all, all I've got for today. I just saw something fun. Figured y'all'd want to see it. That's all I got. Y'all stay safe out there.